We hear it all the time, washy, washy, washy the face, but could you be harming your skin from over cleansing? Well, I'm gonna answer the question to wash your face in the morning or to not wash your face in the morning, all in today's video. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna answer a question that I've been getting a whole lot of, just like today, actually. And I wanna help make this subject of cleansing the skin really clear because it is the basic step before you do everything. It is the keystone step in your skincare routine. And to answer the question right up front, yes, you could be harming your skin from over cleansing. Now, if you're new to my channel and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris Gibson. I'm a skincare expert. I've been doing this for 36 years, helping people like you find skincare that will work for them, not empty their wallet and not do them more harm than good. So if that's the type of content you've been looking for here on YouTube, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. Now, while obviously washing cleansing your skin is super important for skin hygiene, removing excess oil, dirt, and bacteria. There are some cases in which you could be over cleansing the skin, which leads to excessive dryness and sensitivity, even inflammation causing more problems. The good news is there are some really simple and easy alternatives to actually using a cleanser in the morning when it's appropriate for you. Now there are some key things to look for when trying to decide if over cleansing your skin is an issue for you, again, that dryness, irritation, even inflammation, redness, and sensitivity to your products is one key thing to look at. But there are other things to look at like your actual living environment, like when we have cold weather or you live in a cold, dry climate. That is one key thing where cleansing your skin both at night and in the morning can be a problem. Over cleansing for some people can also disrupt the skin's microbiome, that delicate balance of good bacteria that help things like skin cell turnover, oil production and regulation. And when it's disrupted, it can lead to things like breakouts, rashes, even hives. It can also be a problem for people who are wearing cosmetics because at nighttime, you've had a more thorough cleansing of the skin to get all those cosmetics off. At least you should be having a thorough cleansing to get all those cosmetics off. So depending on what products you're using at night before bed, you may not need that additional cleansing in the morning. Also, if you happen to be a person who is using chemical exfoliants like glycolic acid or lactic acid that would fall under the realm of AHAs or alpha hydroxy acids or salicylic acid, which would fall under the realm of a BHA or beta hydroxy acid. And salicylic acid is particularly drying. I learned that when I had acne back in the day. In fact, I learned about not having to wash your face every morning when you have acne, believe it or not, from a dermatologist or my dermatologist. So when we're using those drying exfoliants on a daily basis, a morning face wash with a cleanser may be too much for your skin. And again, this all depends on your skin type and your personal experience with your skincare routine and products. So always keep that in mind. This is for general information only. So now let's talk about what can we do instead if we think we don't need to be washing our face every morning or we're over cleansing our skin. And some really simple, great ways to do this instead of using a cleanser starts with warm water. You can actually splash your face with warm water and pat it dry. Now, if you have super acne prone skin or you're using those exfoliants to help speed up cellular turnover and combat breakouts, you can actually use a warm washcloth, applying that to the skin and holding it there for two to three minutes, squeezing out the excess, reheating the washcloth and applying it again. You can also use those made for skin steaming mechanisms or devices, that's all fine. What the steaming process helps to do is soften any sebum that has thickened down in the pore that could lead to breakouts. It also helps dislodge skincare products that you may have used the night before, like retinols or heavier moisturizing creams. This is a win-win for people that have excessively oily skin or excessively dry skin. And because this whole question of over cleansing the skin really has to do with stripping the skin of too much of its natural oils and drying it out, you could also apply a nice facial spray. Now this is one of my favorites, it's by Mario Badescu. It's sage, aloe, and orange blossom. You just simply spritz the skin and you can take a cotton pad and just dab that around. You don't wanna really rub the skin, you just wanna dab. This will absorb any excess oil or skincare products that you have, it's very simple, and it leaves your skin amazingly refreshed. I'll put a link down in the video description box for this product, but very, very simple. Then you also have the choice of using micellar water. Now this is one by Garnier, I really like this one. There are a ton of these out there. They are designed and infused with essences to help remove makeup and cosmetics, but there's no reason 
reason you can't do the same thing with this dabbing it on the skin just to refresh without over stripping your skin's natural oils and leaving it excessively dry micellar water is also one of the best things for removing cosmetics at night so i highly recommend that you have that in your routine and you should be removing your cosmetics at night just make sure you're doing that in general it's essential to listen to what your skin is telling you and adjust your skincare routines accordingly which means you may be someone who doesn't need to cleanse your skin every morning or maybe every other morning you can find the right frequency for yourself quite easily if your skin in the morning after cleansing is feeling dry tight and squeaky clean one of two things is happening either the cleanser you're using is too strong and you need to shift to a lighter hydrating cleanser or you're over cleansing your skin so let it talk to you it will tell you you'll know what's best if you find stopping the morning cleansing your skin is excessively oily then you can go back to using maybe a lighter face wash that doesn't quite strip as much oil out of your skin and for even more ways to improve the way your skin looks and feels be sure to check out this video that's coming up next thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel i really do appreciate you stay beautiful subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you over on that next video